We have a device that you can stand on that works much like a, a, a weight scale, but it actually can predict whether or not you will have a serious fall in the next 12 months. And we know that for older people, falls is one of the main things that they fear to be able to go through it. So having a simple device that would gauge your balance could really help you understand how important it is to practice your balancing exercises or perhaps take that carpet up at your house because carpet is one of the number one reasons why people fall. It's very clear that care is shifting into the home and technology, whether it's Gen AI, whether it's devices, but really powered by the data is what's going to be needed to help solve a growing aging population that's going to have much greater demand on the system and we're not prepared and the only way out is technology. This is a Renura Magic Mirror device. So what it does, it's a tabletop smart mirror where we take a 30 second selfie video and we actually analyze the blood flow patterns underneath the skin to output vital signs and health measurements. So 30 seconds and we're able to capture uh, quite a lot of information. We use AI to help us make predictions and make estimates about different health parameters, uh, such as you know predicting your your blood pressure or predicting your risk of uh, you know heart disease or cardiovascular disease. Um, so really, the AI piece of it is helping us make estimates and predictions. So ECG, SpO2, stethoscope, temperature sensor, trip cardiogram, and pulse oximeter recording. This is the stethoscope recording. Temperature. It's a revolutionary at-home health checkup device that has four sensors integrated into one small portable device. So the four sensors are one lead electrocardiogram that allows you to assess your heart activity and can detect signs of atrial fibrillation. So it's a type of heart pathology. Um, embedded in the electrode, there is also a pulse oximeter, um, which can measure your blood oxygen levels. So how efficient your lungs are at um, transferring the oxygen from the lungs to the blood. Then there is a stethoscope, so it's a digital stethoscope that you can place on your body to listen to your heart and lung sounds, um, either with headphones or you can stream it live to your doctor during a televisit appointment. And finally, a contactless thermometer. Uh, just in a few seconds, by scanning your forehead and covering the temporal artery, you have access to your body temperature. Yeah, yeah. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. So this device is intended for families to track your, your loved one's health, so your children, uh, 
parents, grandparents, um, there's up to eight users on this device. It's also intended for people with uh, chronic diseases. So for example, a chronic respiratory disease, someone who wants to be proactive about their health and um, simply track their data day to day and be able to alert their doctor if there's a change in the baseline. So this is the EV Smart Ring. Uh, this was designed with women in mind. You can see from the form factor that it's slightly flexible. We decided to make the product for women because when we were examining the need state in healthcare in general and looking at wearables, we realized pretty quickly that there wasn't anything designed with women in mind from the outset. So that was really an important gap to fill. And calories burned. And on the bottom is my recovery. So it's my sleep and uh, my journal entry or what we can eat. And the bottom is my recovery, sleep and mindfulness. If I want to do a deeper dive into my activity, AI is an important part of the EV ring experience. Um, as we take data in, so whether that's menstrual cycle, uh, mood, and energy, we leverage AI on the back end and combine that information with the passively collected ring data, sleep, activity, and heart health to provide the user with really actionable insights that are helpful and meaningful for her day so she gets a better understanding of her body. Thank you.